Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Walker's Craft and Peace. I make paper beads and I also make paper bead jewelry. You are very welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, you are very welcome. And if you're not a subscriber, thank you so much. We hit 900 subscribers. Thank you. And if you're new and you haven't yet subscribed or you're just watching my content and you haven't yet subscribed, you are very welcome to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I upload new videos every Thursday. Okay, so in today's video, I'll be making tube or cylinder paper beads. I don't know if I should call them like that, <laughs> but that's, those are the beads we'll be making today. And yeah, so there are days when you make something and you're like, wow. These ones I love. So this is the feeling I had when I made this bit. So I hope you can see them really nice. Oopsie. So you can see how they look like. And yeah, the darkness, the shape. I just love them. I just love them. So, so today we'll be making these. And if you're interested, stay tuned with me. Okay, so what you need is you need... A white paper, um, the photocopying paper, the R4, I think, yeah, R4 photocopying paper. It's just plain white. So if you've watched my videos, my previous videos, where how to how to make your own colored paper beads, so it's also connected to this one because with this white paper, you need to color it so you can get these beautiful colors on the bead. So you need paint as well, acrylic paint, so you can paint your own bead, your own paper. So this is how it looked like in my previous video. So I'll put the link down below, so don't worry about that. You can just click on it and watch it. So you paint your paper in the simple way, just brushing the brush with any color you want to. And why this one um, has a little bit of gold, it has but it came from here. So after you paint your white paper to this, you'll get your acrylic gold um, paint and then you just uh, rub it on your hands and now you just keep on rubbing it around the paper if you want a touch of gold on the paper, but if you don't want, that's also fine. So this is what you will do. And you need two papers. So one you've painted and then one is just white. So the white one, you will measure it. So I have already some cut papers here. And um, if you don't know how to cut as well, papers for making paper beads, I have a video for that. I'll put also the link down in the description part. And then you just click on it and then you learn how to cut paper. But this one is the, the cube paper so you don't have to make the triangle so you just cut it straight away um from one corner no to one from one edge to one edge so it is you cut let's see this move out of the way okay so it is i think nine millimeters i don't know but it's so this one centimeter you you don't put it up to one no one centimeter you just put it less with one one point so with that you just keep on drawing it on the white paper and then you cut it because I want uh, something small because if you if you make it to the five um, one centimeter then it's a bit bigger and if you can see it's a bit shorter so you want just one by one is low so let's get started so i'm using three stripes from this paper so i can have it thick and big so you just pick three stripes and also yeah the balance type applies every time you roll paper beads so you always see which one is the big one it goes in and the small one always no the big one goes out and the smaller one goes in every time so yeah, I got it. So three of them. You can always check also like this. So then you roll it. So when you reach at this point, you need to, to glue it. So 
so how I glue this I don't cut off the the paper so I can glue the edge but I just want to use all the three steps so so then the bead is thicker so just make sure it all rhymes in the same position so one is down and then I put another one on the next one so it's just like all of them need to get glue <laughs> glued and then yeah then you have it all straight okay So when you're done with um, with rolling it, you push you push it in so it can become on the same level, and then you just keep pressing it. So what you do is you get a toothpick and just go right through in, just to make the hole visible enough. So what is next is we're going to paint at the edge so we can get um, this part gold because it needs to transform so you get your golden um, paint acrylic paint then you just drop just a little bit of it and then you get your brush so when you have your brush you just brush it all all over So you just want to to brush even the little bit of the corners so everything is is sealed in. So then you have one side brushed. So you just need to also do the same on this other side as well. You can use any color you want, but in this project I choose the gold color, the metallic gold, because they really look beautiful. And then you just brush them like that. So when you're done like this, you just want to clear the way through. So the gold that is in the way can get out. So everything is fine. So you let it to dry. So when it's dry and you put it away so it can dry. So then you can have so this is something I already made, it's the same thing, so we just keep on going, <laughs> so we don't stop. And um, yeah, so when they dry, they look like this, because this is now dry, it doesn't stick. And remember your paper that you painted? So now you need to cut it, and the same measurements, the same measurements with the white one. So the videos look like the same, like the last one we did. So it's all the same, but this also gives you different results. So once you cut your paper, you need to cut them also in the same measurement, nine millimeters, I think. <laughs> yeah. So the one, yeah, the one centimeter, you just don't count the one and then you stop there at the one less there. So I think it's nine millimeters. Okay. So once you have this, so we need to wrap over this beautiful color on top of it so i'll just pick one and yeah sometimes you cut the paper is not equal you just find out the one that is equal with the paper this one is equal so we then just going ahead we just go ahead and roll it so if you have difficulties with rolling it like that you just need to just glue it a little bit and then you put it there but I don't want to glue it because I just want to keep on balancing it up. <laughs> okay, so you just glue it. If it's hard for you, you just don't stress out with this method of not gluing it. So you just need to roll it around and tightly if you choose not to glue it. You need to make sure it is tight. So when you have it tightly like that, is it? Okay, it is. <laughs> so you just roll it. So... You can see if you give it a touch of gold, just by on the colors you've painted, it really looks beautiful. So you just keep on rolling.
So when you reach here, you need to glue it. So just to be sure that it's tight, you just always just need to wrap it a little bit. So when you're done, you already have something like this. So we are close. So what you do is you get again your paint and you now paint it. You're going to paint this area slowly. But if you want the gold to drip, it's also fine because I'm still going to Put some gold there because I don't see any on the last edge. So you draw it slowly on top. So when you're done, you're done with both sides and maybe you want a bit of a touch of gold. You can just, uh, you know, just rub it like that. It makes, <laughs> I don't know why, but it makes more sense than using a brush. But you can also use a brush just to to give it more, more gold on. And then you do the same on any side that you want the gold as well. Just a touch of gold. Okay, so this is the last point of this paper. So how I let it dry is I put it like this. Same with when I the first row. Uh, this one, it's drying as well in this position. So that both sides can dry. So when this is done... I don't have any other extra that is already dry so you pick it up and put the stick in here and then you vanish it I'll put a link down below how to vanish your paper bit with um, the brushing method and yeah let me know what you think about this video and if you like the video if you also made some of them so yeah Thank you for watching and I hope I can see you again in my next video. And if you found this video interesting, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to also maybe share with your friends so they can also come and watch my content. And I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye!